Nonprofit Servant Leader Profile. Robert Hill, LDR 630. Servant Leadership, Professor Dr. Susan Sasiadek, October 14th, 2024. Servant Leadership Principles. Commitment to Serving Others. The American Heart Association has been fighting heart disease and stroke and helping families and communities thrive, exemplifies several key principles of servant leadership in its operations. The servant leadership principle of commitment to others emphasizes the leader's responsibility to support the growth, development, and well-being of those they serve. In this approach, leaders prioritize meeting the needs of employees, customers, and stakeholders fostering an environment where individuals can thrive both personally and professionally. This principle, when compared with relative leadership styles, whose primary focus is the well-being of the organization, service leadership is unique in that the leader is viewed as a servant attending to followers' needs above his or her own. Servant Leadership Principles empowerment and development. Greenleaf construes servant leadership is an other-oriented approach to leadership that emphasizes serving others, sharing power, promoting teamwork, and building a sense of community both within the work group and outside the walls of the organization. Servant leadership is about empowering others to grow, and the American Heart Association demonstrates this by investing in the development of its employees and volunteers. Through various training programs, leadership development, and community engagement opportunities, American Heart Association equips its workforce with the skills and resources needed to contribute effectively. American Heart Association provides 22 million people trained in CPR each year and 12 million people reached by nutrition improvements in 44 communities. Servant Leadership Principles Community Collaboration The Servant Leadership Principle of Community Collaboration emphasizes the importance of servant leadership through lived experiences, how leaders and followers describe their experiences and what impact their experiences had on both personal and professional development. This is a key element of servant leadership and the American Heart Association is known for its partnerships with medical professionals, government agencies, businesses, and local organizations. Public awareness received a startling springboard in 1955 when President Dwight Eisenhower had a heart attack. His strong recovery under the guidance of Dr. Pauli Dudley White, one of the American Heart Association's founders, generated new conversations. Servant Leadership Principles Ethical Leadership and Stewardship Ethical Leadership and Stewardship Foundation trustees, with the help of their own trustee staff, are responsible for the design of an appropriate structure for the grant-making staff and one that will attract and hold the best people for that work. The Servant Leadership Principle of Ethical Leadership and Stewardship are the two interconnected principles that form the foundation of Servant Leadership. The American Heart Association exemplifies this by ensuring transparency in its operations, upholding ethical standards in its research funding and public health efforts, and responsibly managing its resources to maximize its impact on society. In the 1980s, with significant support from the American Heart Association, new laws required stronger warning labels for cigarettes and banned smoking on airplanes. The leadership principles that I value most. Commitment to serving others. My mom raised me to look after my family members, and this has been further honed into my being while serving in the Air Force for 22 and a half years. As a facility and real estate planner for Northrop Grumman, one of the servant leadership principles I value is commitment to serving others. Corporate citizenship at Northrop Grumman starts with people, the people we employ, the people in our community, and the people who may become part of our workforce. I have the unique position of working on maintenance and construction related work to make our environment the best place to work. 
Our end goal is to give the warfighter the most advanced tools to defeat our adversaries. I bring this mentality every day because I believe a servant leader focused primarily on the growth and well-being of people and the communities to which they belong. The leadership principles I value most, empowerment and development. As mentioned in the previous slide, I served in the Air Force for 22 and a half years. I was a superintendent of CHAP operations. So naturally, the other servant leadership principle I value is empowerment and development. While serving and as I go into work now, I believe if a better society is to be built, one that is more just and more loving, one that provides greater creative opportunity for its people, then the most open course is to raise both their capacity to serve and their very performance as servant of existing major institutions by new regenerative forces operating within them. Working at Northrop Grumman allows me the opportunity to support our military, veterans, and their family through initiatives dedicated to supporting the workforce transition homelessness eradication, appreciation, and those who are wounded, ill, or injured.